Hi friends, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the Silhouette Cameo cutting machine and cut out physical planner tabs just like you see here. This will be a very simple tutorial. I'll show you how you can import it into Silhouette and then cut it out and also show you how you can pack all the files so you can sell it online on Etsy or anywhere else so your customers can cut out the stickers themselves if they have a silhouette cutting machine. So let's get started. Here I am on the explore page and I will just open up a random planner tab. Uh, let's maybe go with this one right here. So click to open it up. Here we go, we have two, one for 2024, the other one for 2025. So from here, what you want to do is when you want to go to Save Export and then select the first menu, which is the US letter size page. Um, don't worry about the sizing because you can also print this out on A4 sticker paper. So from here, you want to click on Generate PDF. And what you want to download is the PNG version of this file. So not the PDF one, but the PNG one. So click on PNG. This is how it looks like. And then you want to click on the right mouse tab to save this to your computer. So save it, give it a name, 2024, 2024 planner tabs, save it. Next, you want to open up Silhouette. I have Silhouette here. Now, first, let's go to under page setup. You want to click on this icon right here, the third icon, and you want to show the registration marks. Very important, you have this menu selected so your Silhouette machine knows where to cut out um, the file. Okay, have this selected. Next, you want to import the stickers. So click on the folder icon up here on the left side, and then you want to select the file you have just downloaded, which is the sticker tab. So click on OK, like this, and you want to make it bigger. Now you see that it has lost um, the registration marks, so just re-click again on On to show it like this. And you want to make it a tiny bit smaller. Also, by the way, um, I just forgot showing you before. Here on the paper type, um, please select if you're printing it on A4 or US letter or letter page size. So if your stickers are in the letter size, which is 8.5 times 11 inches, select letter. If you have the A4 size sticker paper, select A4. I have A4, so I'll be selecting this one here. Okay, so just place your stickers here into the middle like this. This looks fine. Try to stay within the red lines like this. Then once you have it, you want to go next to the um, butterfly icon. It's called trace panel. Here on the trace panel, you want to tell it um, what it can cut out. So click on trace area and then now you want to click like this and select what you want to make traceable. Okay, you don't want to cut out any headers, so just select what is within here. Then under threshold, you want to increase it until it fills out everything yellow, just like this. Okay, then next you want to click on trace outer edge. You want to draw a red line and the red line is where the needle we tra will trace along and cut out um, the, the flag. So now from here, now that you have the red lines drawn, just check if everything looks okay. Okay, once you're happy, go to the printing menu right here and then you want to print out the planner tabs and very important is that I always recommend you to set for the media quality to have it on the best quality possible and then also select the correct paper you're printing um, these planner tabs on. So then click on print and then print out your planner tabs. So this is how the planner tabs should look like and then from here, what you want to do next is you want to take your um, sticker sheet, you just print it out, and then you want to place it onto the mat exactly like you see it in the screen. So you see that the arrow is showing up, 
and then you want to take um, your page, stick it on top of the mat so it looks exactly the same as, as you see it on the screen. Once you have done that, you want to take your cutting mat and then you want to feed it back in into your silhouette machine. Once you have done that, we can go straight to send and here set all the settings so we can start cutting out um, the planner tabs. So here go to send line. Now I have vellum selected because my sticker papers here in Thailand are very, very thin. So I had to select vellum. Um, in your case, if you are in the United States or Europe, you can also select here for the material sticker paper and you should be good. So there are many different kinds of materials you can select from. And then here you want to select how deep you want the blade to be. In my situation, because I have such a thin material, um, I have to set it to just one and for the force to 10. But if you already know, the, know your personal setting, which works for you, then please just change it so it works for your material. If you are new to cutting, then you can also follow along and also have it set to one with the force 10 because cutting too shallow is better than cutting too deep. So have this menu selected. And then you can click on send and it will start cutting out your planner tabs. And this is how the finished planner tabs should look like. You can sell the planner tabs physically if you want, or you can also just offer the silhouette file to your customers. So they can just open up the silhouette file and then go straight to cutting it out here on silhouette. So if you are planning on selling the file, you want to click here under the save icon here. You want to click here and create maybe a new folder called planner tabs 2024. Click on create. And then here you want to maybe name it silhouette file. Click on okay. And now uh, you should have a new folder with the silhouette version right here. So if your customer now clicks on this file right here, it will open up the silhouette file on their computer. And then from here, they can go straight to send. They can also print out the file. Once they print out the file and put it onto the mat, they can then go straight to send and then it will cut out the um, planner tabs for them. So this is what you can do. Besides this, I also recommend you to maybe um, give them an additional PDF file. So here you can click on the print icon, print. And then down here below, you should have a menu called save as PDF, um, which gives you the menu, the option to save it as a PDF file as well. So if your customer wants to print out just the file itself without opening up it in silhouette, then they can do that as well. So here you will end up with a PDF file and then with the silhouette file and then you will sell this bundle, this folder right to your customers. So this is how you can offer the planner tabs as a digital item. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!